This is Ralph Irvin in Austin, Texas, where Saturday afternoon the UCLA Bruins took care of number seven Texas by the final score of 34 to 12. Let's get some reactions inside the UCLA locker room. It's huge, man, coming in here uh, in a hostile environment against the top 10 team like Texas. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of people gave us a chance, but, uh, you know, the guys in this locker room believed that we could do it. And, uh, you know, offensively, the guys up front just played their butt off and, and uh, defensively, they played an amazing game as usual and, uh, you know, shocked the world. This is by far the best day of my life, man. I mean, just to be able to see the fans is quiet. Um, and just see the guys out there just fighting, man. You know, it, it wasn't only a football game, but it was it, it was a boxing match. I mean, constantly throwing blows, man, each on both sides of the ball, man. And I'm proud of our O line, even the guys who got a chance to play. And man, I'm as proud of us as a whole team, man. And today was a great day, a great day for for our organi organization, and a great day for the history of UCLA. This 55 offensive line did a great job. Receivers did an amazing job blocking downfield. You know, tight end Corey Harkey did a great job, and KP even helped helped me out. You know, we we did a great job. We knew they were going to be good, you know, because they're the number one rush defense. Uh, but I mean, as the game went along, we were like, man, we can play with these guys, you know, you know, so, you know, so we just you know, did what we were supposed to do. You know, we started to execute up front and uh, man, we put together a really good game. I'm really proud of our guys. Just a uh, team effort, everybody doing their assignments and just playing tough, playing fast. You know, we was out there, everybody playing fast, everybody doing their assignments, just flying to the ball. And, you know, that just set us up in a good position to play a, a good defensive game. We knew it would be a challenge and, uh, you know, the filthy five up front took it as a, as a personal challenge when people were all talking about the Texas run defense and, uh, you know, they were excited about the challenge and uh, we came in here and the run was working and so we just stuck with it. You know, obviously we didn't get to throw that much, but, you know, I'll take a win any day over throwing a lot. That's what we want to do. You know, this running back crew, we want to be able to carry this team. We want to be able to put this team on our back. So we're ready for any challenge we need to take. You know, we put on size, but also, we you know, we focus on speed because, you know, if you got to play fast, you win games. You know, you got this sluggish, you know, you ain't going to make no plays. But that was a big emphasis this offseason. Everybody worked hard. And as you can see, you know, out there on the field. All we do is run out there and play, play football, man. I told the guy on defense, I said, all they can do is run and pass. And even though it's a big game, let the game come to you. You know, just relax, have good eyes, have good feet, and just fly around and make plays. And, you know, when you do that and you play disciplined football, plays come right to you, man. And guys went out there and just made plays, man, and flew around. In practice, you know, the competitiveness, you know, allow us to come out, come out, you know, and let the other guy go on. You know, we have trust in each other that we can do the job. And we're family. There's no egos. You know, we play together, but we play as one. He put me in different positions. And he put me all around the field, and that just put me in better uh, position to make a play. So, you know, Coach Bullock called the shots. It's a great thing he's doing, and I'm just, you know, rolling with the flow. We're just taught to, you know, drive our guys, you know, down the field, and, you know, like whatever happens in the backfield happens. And, uh, you know, you know, you know, like the pistol gets real tricky for the defense, and, uh, you know, I feel like that's really, you know, I feel like that's, you know, to our advantage, you know, because the defense really don't know who's getting the ball. And, uh, you know, like we had a good game. It's great to see it work, man, and uh, being able to, to um, be able to keep keep it and run it and score touchdowns, man, that's the best feeling in the world. So, uh, you know, we're going to continue to work it. We don't have it down perfectly. Um, there's still plenty of work to be done. You know, uh, we're going to enjoy this win and uh, get ready for next week. Once again, UCLA, a 34-12 winner over Texas. The Bruins back in action next weekend at the Rose Bowl when they host Washington State. Of course, for the latest news and notes on UCLA football, get it all right here. Bruin TV, the UCLA Bruins.com.